Hey everyone, I'm Alfred and this is ODST, Halo 3 ODST. Didn't do a shorter episode of this one. Um, it's a much shorter game and it's broken up into smaller chunks as well. Because Reach is, what is it, 10 levels I think? And each level is its own completely self-contained thing. Whereas this game is hub level, followed by short mission, followed by hub level again, and that's the gameplay loop. I guess we're going through those assholes. I didn't expect you to deliver yourself to me, but fuck, thanks. Oh. Come on. Shoot the gun out. Oh, nice. So I wanted to mention, actually, um, so med packs in this game, they're explicitly, there's a, they're, there's a very specific way that they actually work. It's explained in the lore and everything. Um, med packs containing metagel uh, fills the wound. It numbs it and as disinfectants and, you know, other stuff. It does not do anything to heal it. Oh, hi everyone. Oh my god, did you hear that? Our leader is perished, run. That confirms what I said earlier. These are little units, these are squads. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Now, I will spare you, friend. You have not made an enemy of me. Hey, they didn't notice me. See, we got stealth game, too. Other weird mix-ups in uh, Halo ODST. Fuck. See, I love the idea of medical foam and, like, packing a wound, essentially. Because, like, if you get stabbed in the lung, you just need something there to hold the lung open, to hold it like apart because otherwise the damn thing is going to collapse and you'll die well you won't necessarily die I actually had a friend whose lung collapsed long story I don't actually know the whole story as well and it's not exactly my story to tell Oh, let me switch to this. God damn it. Anyway. The main part of that story is that uh, it actually recollapsed. Because once your lung collapses once, then it, it can very easily recollapse again later. And it actually recollapsed in the, uh, in the morning while we were all at school. And, uh, that was, uh, pretty scary. That was pretty rough. Of course, at the time, she hated me, but, like, I didn't want her to die. I wasn't good friends with her, and she hated my guts, but, you know. Don't want people to die from a collapsed lung. Exfixiationing is, uh... Yeah, that's, that's how you verb that, right? Exfixiationing is a awful way to go. I hear most people say that drowning is the worst way to go, and having not died, especially by drowning, I can not confirm nor deny this, but it would make sense. Starvation would, too. Any long, drawn-out death. My wife and one of her friends... This is a story that I... <laughs> my wife gets all bashful for. However, I think it's hilarious. My wife and one of her friends were taking an airplane. And uh, said friend was talking about her fear of flying and dying in a plane crash. And uh, 
my lovely wife was like, oh, don't worry. If there's a plane crash, you'll die nearly instantly. And didn't understand why that wasn't exactly comforting to her. Twilight of Man. Because it's very comforting to my wife to know that she won't suffer and that she'll die nearly instantly. Anyway. What are we doing next? Oh, I hear a little song. Hinos. Welcome, Karabuni, and a language I don't read. That's cool. Hmm. Where am I going here? Do 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 do. I'm just checking over here because I want to see it. In one of these dumpsters, you can actually cheese a Halo 3 level. So, looking at the ODST's fingers right here. His name is technically the rookie, but... Looking at his fingers here, they're kind of more low res, and I guess that they didn't upscale them. Because for a lot of guns it's less clear that he's the one holding them. Okay, I'm starting to think that it'll be behind this thing. That. But yeah, maybe it just didn't get made as HD as everything else. Is this trash can the mystery memory solve? I had a dream I was in the in a book the other night. This is a segue. Bad one, but it's a segue. I had a dream that I was in a book the other night. Which is to say, the other night I had a dream where I was in a book. In that I was in a story. But I knew about it because um, I found a book about the book that I was in. Well, I found the book that I was in. Oh, there it is. God damn, I missed that. Buy a foam can. So what I'm getting at here is, uh, don't read Grant Morrison before bed. We're gonna get you out of here. <laughs> Aerial combat in the flooded city. I remember this a little very fondly. Buck. So we're playing as Buck for the second time, I think. You play as almost every character twice. I think you only play as Romeo once, though. Oh, I, I don't remember there. this game well enough. <laughs> as I mentioned uh, a little bit ago, I, am not, I wasn't able to play it for a while. Dutch, I didn't med have a, a thing. What's wrong with him? He's got a punctured lung. Can't breathe. So check this out. It just Better? numbs it so it doesn't hurt. No, no. And it packs the wound. Trains ran underground up to the old city. We're gonna find one of the tunnels. Walk on out of here. Right. You're gonna carry me all the way, sweetheart. I was planning on it, but now that you're feeling better. Get the door! That'll stop him. This tiny grate. Those things are like indestructible though. You know, that's a good character moment. Johnny, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh my god, I just realized that I didn't even read what time this mission took place at. 
Virgil is salty. Now he's curious. Now he's excited. This means we're screwed, right? Not yet. Aw, oh, yeah. Wait here. We're gonna steal that ride. It's landing. Now's our chance, Mickey. You're with me. God. Of all the cockamamie schemes, this one's the cocky mamiest. Fly a pelican, but a phantom? It's been years since I even ran a simulation. Oh. Well, let's see what you remember, Trooper. Move. Look out, Banshee! Like, Halo's known for having a lot of zany schemes in it. Oh, thank you, sir. Anyway, yeah, Halo is known for having a lot of zany schemes in it. Like, hey, this is crazy and it shouldn't work, but it will because we're the protagonists. Unless it's, you know, Reach. Jesus. Getting shelled here. Like, hey, let's uh, let's put a, a, a malfunctioning slip space drive on a boat, push it into a Covenant ship, and turn it on, detonating it like a nuke. You know? Let's just do that. Like, that's not fucking crazy. And, like, the protagonists of Halo games are doing that all the time. Oh, I want those, but I have better guns. Well, I don't have better guns. And I've got to say... Dreefu... Let's steal a Covenant boat because we don't really have a ride is about as crazy as, as it gets. Like, dude, what if someone sees you? They're just going to assume that you're an enemy. And like, if you try to radio ahead to say, I'm in a Covenant vessel, what are they going to do? Allow you to hail them? Are you crazy? I really gotta get some more Halo action figures. All my Halo action figures are at my uh, my dad's house still, and so I don't have them. They're mostly just Spartans, and I think one quote unquote action figure of Cortana. It's a very crappy action figure because it's not actually poseable. Oh shit! Am I dead? I'm dead. All right. Well, now that we've established what not to do. Reloading. Gunny, more of those floating squids. Should we smoke them? They're between us and that phantom. What do you think? That was my kill. Shut up. Okay. Oh, there's the walkway. Duh, idiot. Hey, I need those. Uh, that, that one is about as I could have expected it to. You know, I think the game, uh, the, the reason that a lot of people dislike this game the, the most, the biggest reason that people dislike this game, I should say, uh, it was sold for a full price. And so, like, recall that this game is a short game by Halo standards. They're between us and that phantom. What do you think? And Halo games are already pretty short. Phantom inbound. So, you add in... What the fuck you guys are supposed to be shiny? 
that it's extremely short, like six hours maybe. And that the multiplayer is just Halo 3's multiplayer again. And it includes all the DLC maps on disc, but it's not new multiplayer. It's just things that you could get on... Nice. I, I want to know why Cuddle Up is the melee kill achievement. Is it a pun on Huddle Up? Nice. Is that what I think it is? I think that's everything. You go get Dutch and Romeo. On my way. Now all I need is a new gun, and I guess this is as good as any. Big tasty plasma pistol. Even better. So this is one of those well hated things in video games called an escort mission. Oh god, well there it goes. Guess I'm getting another one. However, when the thing you're escorting is bigger than you, has more health and better artillery, it's not really as much of a problem, you see. I love levels like this. Like just huge levels where you just get to fuck around. Yeah. You can Bay Rail roll. Well, if I've ever seen two, uh, two big old sparks of green together like that, that usually means hunters. God. Oh my god. It looks like the reticle is below where you shoot. Or no, sorry, above where you shoot. Like, it's above the gun. Crazy. Also, it looks like I was mistaken, and that fuel rod gun is actually just the guys doing a shoot. You know, I never beat Halo 4. <coughs> Excuse me. I never beat Halo 4, and that's something that I'm kind of excited to do for the channel. Because uh, I don't like Halo 4. I, uh, I didn't beat it for a reason. Oh, huh. Have you always been able to do that? That's the way we're headed. Take him out. I, uh, I didn't know that. And yeah, now we get to dogfight. Like, this happens very rarely in Halo. Like, full-on... Like, because vehicle maps are not even half the, the content. And aerial ones are even less rare. Even more rare, even less common, excuse me. What do you see, Gunny? A whole lot of Covenant gathering around the crater from that slip space rupture. However, um... And doing it in one of these is even yeah, more rare. Right. So yeah, it's cool that I get to do it. It's another one of the like ideas that stuck with me. Like, the absolute gall of the protagonists who are, recall, not Spartans, just regular fucking guys to steal Covenant vessels. Like... Dude, what the hell? Don't shoot the NG. Don't shoot the NG. Yeah. Oh, don't! No!
Okay. Oh, he just explodes. No. Is that a wraith? And it's drivable. So the Wraith fires so slow that it feels like it's one of those things where you could only have one projectile on screen at a time. It's not, it just looks like that. <sighs> okay, that full line is great. I understand um, oh oh that's an engineer I'm sorry I understand almost no one probably heard it no you guys don't shoot the men I hope that them killing it doesn't count I imagine that I I, I don't know how it couldn't all right No, stop. No. No. You, you fools. They are our friends. I wonder if it's possible to beat this without... Oh, that's fine. Without a vehicle. I'll go first. I imagine that you might be able to stand on else on someone else's vehicle. So, um, Halo made deals with Mega Bloks because they like money. And so one of the things that you could get was Halo brand Mega Bloks. And they would have Halo mins in them. You know, like various Spartans, Covenant gun emplacements. Uh, there was one really good one that I don't know if I ever was able to build, but it's a, uh, it was the big Covenant gun turret in Reach, I think in, in Mission 2. Jesus, what the hell just hit me? Over here. Yeah, it's that big gun emplacement in Halo 2. As well as, um... Oh yeah, that's a that's a modified version of a wraith called an AA wraith, which is short for anti-aircraft. It's probably not safe for me to be right next to it, even if it is blowing up. Oh, here we go. See, so yeah, there was one that was just the big cannon, and I believe also a. Oh, what else did it have? Uh, a Warthog in it, I think. And that was fun. I had fun playing with that as a kid. Oh, huh. You guys uh, seem to be falling off there. That uh, sucks for you. It is one of those things where it's like, hmm, should we be selling these to kids? I know that, like, A-Fall exists. Uh, adult fans of LEGO, for those. I seem to use a lot of terms that people I don't expect people know. Eh, consider it my charm point. But yeah, there are like fans of Lego who are adults and like that's their personality trait that they like Lego even though they're old. But the idea seems to be that they were marketing Halo to children. Granted, Halo has great kid appeal, and that's not a joke. Honestly, sometimes I wish Bungie would just have someone like. I'll head through on foot. See if I can find a workaround inside the tunnel. Oh, I will. Will I? I kind of wish Bungie would just have someone evaluating tone backstage. You know.
Because sometimes Halo, like, wants to be a tragedy. Sometimes it wants to be, like, a serious war game. Sometimes it wants to be very realistic. Other times very fantasy. And most of the time it blends very well. I would just love if there was a confirm to make sure that that was all of the time. Getting scalded, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Makes it easy. The good news is that once one uh, peels the, shi the shield off of a brute, uh, it's gone and it can't come back. So those guys just will still have no shield no matter what now. And also, plasma pistols are usually fucking everywhere. Don't know why I can't find them now, but that's, uh, that's not my biz. Here we go. Look, they're all fresh. Look at that. What a lucky boy I am. Thanks, random covenant gun emplacement. You know, I don't really want to get into this because this game isn't Destiny. And even though it's the same devs and has a lot of it. Oh, jeez. Yep, yep. Sh send me away. Send me away. That way you can't catch up. Can he block it? On his hammer? Can he do that? Yeah, things bounce off of him. What the hell? Uh, guys? It's just an engineer, everyone. That's your fault. That's on you. That's not me. Okay. I'll say this. I'm pretty... I feel disappointed in where Destiny is right now. I feel like it's not as fun as it could be. For those unaware, um, the game went free to play the last couple years. And that's been accompanied by some design changes that I'm not sure if I agree with. Oh my god, it's empty. It's completely dry. I'm not paying attention. Um... Destiny is supposed to be a shooter RPG and an MMO at that. However, it also has single player campaigns that you can play in like in the same way that one would the uh, Halo campaigns. Where you can play them by yourself or with buddies or with a few buddies with a single bud. You know, up to you. Probably not good to stand next to that thing, huh? Anyway. I'm getting to a point here, trust me. I'm just also trying to shoot. And scoot, as Buck would say. Apparently, because that's catchphrase, I guess. Um... They recently changed it so that you don't level up, you just start with everything. And so it really doesn't feel like you're making a build anymore. Uh, like a build in the sense of, I'm putting all my points into this, or I'm doing this. Because you don't level up, you just start at the level that the game says you will be, and you're there forever. And I'm of the opinion that that's weird. Here, why don't we do this? That ought to solve some problems. You know, the invisibility doesn't really work when you're also highly visible because of your bonus shield. Okay, okay. Yeah? Word? Oh, Jesus. Oh. 
You know, one of the craziest game mechanics that I still love is the fact that you can block in Resident Evil 7. Anyway, so Destiny, you just, you don't level up, you just start at a certain amount of power, which is how the game tracks, originally tracked the combined sum total of your equipment. The total of your equipment and your level. So everyone just starts at 750 power, no matter what. Jesus. You lost your helmet yet? Oh, he has. Oh! Um, hey y'all. Let's boogie. So you just start at whatever power the game wants you to now. It might actually be more than 750. I haven't played since Shadowkeep came out. So you just do that. That's just what you do. Hmm. What about over here? Um... So the game that's supposed to be an MMORPG is not an RPG anymore. Like, you pick a class, but that class starts at the max level, and with everything, every level already gotten, and every ability already gotten. So what are you to do? Here we go, I'm dumb. And like, you can play the game just as you would, But then you, like, you don't really, there's not really a sense of progression. Because how could there be? You're not playing an RPG. And granted, it doesn't have to be an RPG. No, guys, come on. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for them. I wish I could stop them. Guys, can we just go? Can we leave the stupid fucking... God damn you. <sighs> Maybe it only counts when you're in uh, in the open. Which, I've already cheated myself. That's a scarab. Yeah, that's a scarab, huh? Oh, and I get to fight it with a banshee? Cool. Anyway, whenever new things come out, if you don't have them, you just kind of lose. You don't really have much of a chance to not. You just kind of need whatever the newest shit is, and if you don't have it, you just don't play the game. Like, there, there are certain equipments where if you have them, you are at the level the game expects you to be, and if you don't, you are not, and you sh just kind of can't play the game like you're meant to. This might kill me. No, it didn't. Alright, well, let's go on a rampage. So, I don't know if I've actually huh, ow, mentioned this, but, uh... Well, I haven't yet, because I haven't recorded Halo 1 and 2. But scarabs are actually the same creature as hunters. They're the same collective of worms, all stuffed together in one body. Except their mech suit is a giant walking spider tank. Yeah, that's neat. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm really not sure about on Destiny. The stories all feel kind of weak. They definitely don't have as much gusto as Halo's did. And I'm really not sure why that is, honestly.
like it's the same writers. It's I, I assume it's the same writers. I don't know, but it's the same company. So presumably they would have the same writers. So I just don't know what the deal is. Sorry, I was just checking something. Okay. Escape the final tunnel. Hey, yep. Stay clear. This is gonna be one hell of a chain reaction. Wow, that's cool. Hell yeah. Oh, that's the level. Okay. I didn't need to check. I shouldn't have. Anyway, Destiny has issues involving its. That's cool. Involving its game balance, the way that it's played, and the players who played it. And I just kind of wish it was better, but I'll get into that if I ever let's play this thing, which I don't know why I would, but maybe I will. Okay? Just glad we didn't go with your first plan. Look at those tunnels. Ones that aren't flooded are probably packed with buggers. Buggers. Hell, I wouldn't go down there even if you ordered me to. Come on, Monica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck, call me Captain. Mickey, turn around. Find a safe place to set us down. What? Why? I lost something. Now I know where to find her. The drama preserving helmets is such a useful trope for writers because it means that you don't have the answer of why is this idiot not wearing a helmet in a war zone, but also you can have the actor remote. Ah, <sighs> Kigawani Station. All right. That's ODST. Um, I have an Alfred. Thanks for coming by. Uh, see you guys next time. I'll let this finish out. Can anyone hear me? This is Captain Veronica Dare. My beacon is active. Need immediate assistance. Someone, please respond. Dude, they so heard you. All right.